Hello everyone. In this video, we will solve this nice problem. We have x to the power x is equal to x, and then we have to find the value of x. It's a kind of fun, right? But before we begin, please do me a favor by subscribing to this channel. It is free, and then you can change your mind at any time. Thanks a lot for subscribing. Now let's get started. Okay, so now let's equate everything to zero. So we have x to the power x minus x is equal to zero. So from here, we can factor x out. So we have x to the power x minus 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. So from here we have x to the power x minus 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. I mean this whole thing is equal to 0 or x is equal to 0. But guess what? This x is never equal to 0 because if x is equal to 0, then from here we have 0 to the power 0, which is indeterminate, right? So x is never equal to 0. So now let's focus on this equation. So here we have x to the power x minus 1 is equal to 1. And I'm going to name this equation, equation star. Right, so from this equation, we'll be considering two cases. So we say that case 1, case 1, x is greater than zero all right so here i'm going to take natural log on both sides so we have the natural log of x to the power x minus one is equal to natural log of one so from here we have x minus one then natural log of x is equal to natural log of one is zero all right so this means that it is either x minus one is equal to 0 or natural log of x is equal to 0. So now let's go ahead and then simplify this. So x minus 1 is equal to 0 is simply x is equal to 1. Or now here we have e to the power natural log of x is equal to e to the power 0. Then this is the same as x is equal to 1. So either of them is equal to 1. So let's come to the second case, which is case 2, where x is less than 0. All right, so from here, we are going to say that let y equals negative x, and this implies that x is equal to negative y, but y is positive. So know this very well, y is positive. So putting this into the equation, which is equation star, we have negative y to the power y minus 1 is equal to 1. Now I'm going to multiply this by negative 1 to the power minus y minus 1. Then we have negative y to the power minus y minus 1 is equal to 1. Now note that negative y to the power minus y minus 1 is never equal to negative. Why? Because y is positive. y is positive over here. So this implies that negative 1 to the power minus y minus 1 is equal to 1, but not, but not negative 1. So this implies that negative y to the power negative y minus 1 is equal to 1. All right, so we can say that negative y minus 1 is equal to 0 implies that x is equal to 1. But don't forget that x is less than 0. Or y is equal to 1 implies x is equal to negative 1. So we can conclude that x is equal to 1 or x is equal to negative 1. So this is our final answer. x is equal to 1 or x is equal to negative 1. So guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thanks a lot for watching. See you again on the next video.